It's live from last week, episode 33. Let's go! Pedal, pedal, pedal! Welcome me, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Before we go on with the episode, just have a quick shameless plug. Be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, in case you didn't catch last week's episode, I'm still at Sybil Point for an overnight camping trip for the long weekend. But yeah, in case you guys didn't know, I'm pedaling on a boat. <laughs> So after chilling in Saga post camping yesterday and coming back home, I am now at Woodbine Beach with my baby Minnie. And this is after dropping off the fiance in Leslieville to have brunch with her co-workers. And while I wait for her, I guess I'll just edit some video in my new personal office here in my Mini. Then when I'm done, I'll be able to pick her up, take a nap, eat some dinner, then head in for my first of my two night shifts later on tonight. So, just a quick throwback. Do you guys remember this segment from last week's episode? Hi, sister. Hi. It's some salad king and some leftover jolly bee rice and gravy. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Well, yesterday, while I was waiting to pick up the fiance from her brunch, I tried my sister's leftover food, and this was my experience. Yo, I'm sweating in a hot car in the middle of summer, eating this pad thai that my sister got me she ordered too many chilies too spicy for me so i broke from all the hotness and i went to wendy's and got a frosty hopefully this will cool down my mouth so this is just a reminder that in the future don't trust the leftover takeout food that your sister gets you i knew that there was something suspicious about her giving me her leftovers but anyways i'm feeling a little better and i'm off to my second of my two night shifts and before I go into work, I have a birthday greeting for you guys today. Just want to wish a happy birthday to one of my old classmates, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. I remember long ago going to university at Ryerson with you. And also enjoying your posts about the Blue Jays and the Raptors on Facebook. Anyways, Michelle, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there. And I'm hoping that you have a happy birthday. Although I'm a little bit disoriented after taking only a 30 minute nap after my night shift this morning, I just wanted to say happy Friday everyone and a busy Friday it was indeed with a couple of news stories from the sports world from the end of the Kyle Lowry Raptors era to the end of the Lionel Messi Barcelona era to our Canadian women's Olympic soccer team who won gold earlier today. Also earlier today for lunch I met up with the parents at the perfect dim sum restaurant in Scarborough. And for dinner, went by Osmos to pick up some Mediterranean food while visiting my cousin in the evening. Oh, look at the stove! LG. LG, where's the LG? The backsplash was new. I did the backsplash last week. And did I mention I got to visit my nephew, Kyrie? Hi! Hi, Kyrie! Yeah. Hi! And my niece, Lena. But not really else. But yeah. <laughs> do you think you have time to uh, do this? <laughs> and also ran into the YouTuber for Lou's reviews, my cousin Louie. That OVO shirt with the matching OVO hair. <laughs> Silver baby. What? With Osmos. <laughs> 
So after that busy day, I'm gonna head to bed and try to catch up on some sleep. After staying in all day, cause it was quite gloomy out, the fiance and I decided to go all the way to Saga today to A, visit her family and B, buy some new sunglasses for tomorrow's beach volleyball tournament. So we made our way all the way to square one, checked out a mini sale where I bought my old sunglasses, but unfortunately they didn't have any that I really liked. And eventually I just went to Dollarama and bought these babies. And while at square one, we also got to check out the Carlos bakery shop vending machine. But we didn't buy anything because each slice of cake was 10 bucks. But on the topic of cakes, we got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I have a happy birthday greeting to one of my old roommates, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. I'm remembering all the great times that we had back when we were living at 2H at Wysik and all the steamer parties that we used to go to. Anyways, Vanessa, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope that you have a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have is for one of my family friends, Char. Happy birthday, Char. I'm remembering all the reunions we would have for Christmas over at 52. As well as you going to Blue Jay Games to get those giveaways to give to me one day. Anyway, Char, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I hope that you have a happy birthday as well. Anyways, for the real reason why I'm here, it's because I have a Japanese food delivery for the fiancé's family for dinner tonight. So let's go see what I'm about to pick up. So after getting up hella early this morning and only getting this much sleep last night, mainly because I was too excited to come to play beach volleyball today and making this delicious breakfast as a pregame, we're here at Woodbine Beach getting ready for a beach volleyball tournament, so let's get at it! So guys, that pretty much wraps up the morning session. Got six wins. We're gonna rest up a little bit in the shade, get some lunch and take a break with the family. Hey, Blueberry. There's Blueberry. Nothing on Sunday. And now, time for the second part of the tournament. Let's go. Oh, picture time? So bad news guys, guess I lost the final, but we're gonna see the celebration of the champions of the Group A, Mr. and Mrs. Ashbridge's Bay. Sorry, scratch that guys. It looks like a couple people from the finals have left for home already, but we were able to take this pick of the winners and runners up of Group A. And yeah, thanks to Rob for organizing this event and to all the participants who came out to play in this month's tournament. So after a hard day-long tournament, now I brought you and Gerard to get some Vietnamese food with the family to celebrate the occasion. And so
so after enjoying that amazing Vietnamese food for dinner tonight, driving the fiancé sister back to Saga, and finally making it back home here in Scarborough at 11 p.m., we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Micah. Happy birthday, Micah. I'm remembering you from our Ryerson Catholic chaplaincy days and going to the meet and greets and seeing you at the barbecues. Anyways, Micah, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have for today is for Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. I'm remembering you from our FGAR days back at Ryerson and also seeing your Facebook posts about your Volvo and your time trials. Anyways, Michael, hope you too are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting for my Tita Aoi. Happy birthday, Tita Ao Ao. I'm remembering back in the day when I always used to see you at 102. To the present day when every so often you would fly in from Reno and bring Jordan with you to visit Duds, Louie, and the rest of the family. Anyways, Tita Aoi, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy in the States at this time, and I'm hoping that you also had a happy birthday. After waking up hella early this morning, and sore all over the body after doing the beach volleyball tournament yesterday. We drove to the parents' place, got some breakfast, and taking the classic 35-115 through Lindsay, took a couple hours to carpool all the way up to here to Balsam Lake Provincial Park. So we're gonna chill here with my family, check out the beach, check out the campgrounds, listen to stories from my dad about how we were here camping 25 years ago. So dad, 25 years ago I was here? Yes, you were here. Yeah, we did uh, swim from her. First uh, beach she swam. And make use out of these free provincial park day use passes and just check out all these beautiful parks that Ontario has to offer. So evidently, after the family had lunch and was tired of laying out in the sun at Balsam Lake, we took another 60 minute drive, provincial park hopping, and now we are at our second park of the day, Emily Provincial Park. So let's see what we got up to in our second provincial park trip of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed that montage, but we actually have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday greeting to Tracy. Happy birthday, Tracy. I'm remembering the time spending with you and hanging out with our crew back in our YSIC days. But for today, I'm hoping you're doing well, staying safe, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. The next birthday greeting I have is for another YSIC friend of mine, Eileen. Happy birthday, Eileen. I'm remembering the times back in the day when you and I were both YSIC CAs. And now, based on your Facebook posts, I'm very excited to see what's in store for your future. Anyways, Eileen, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. And for my last birthday greeting, I have for Aurevalia. Happy birthday, Aurevalia. I'm remembering meeting you for the first time back over at the Ryerson Catholic Chaplaincy, and also running into you in Spain for World Youth Day back at Salamanca. 
Anyways, Aurelia, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I'm hoping that you have a happy birthday. And believe it or not, guys, it's come up to the end of our episode. So if you guys liked what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.